Welcome in Vigarpuru, the ultimate school of learning music. And I am Sankar sir. Today I will just guide you how to play scale and arpeggio it through your violin. First, immediately when I am telling you the scale and arpeggio, you are getting a new word maybe, the scale. If I tell you to, if you are playing keyboard or violin or guitar, whatever the instrument if you are playing, if I tell you to play scale, immediately you will take your violin or guitar or the keyboard and you will try to play. You will play all, whatever D major, A major, C major, all scale you will play. But if I am asking you that what is scale? Then you will think, oh my God, what is scale? I am telling you, leave your violin and explain me what is scale. You have to think a lot because we are really scale. Some musical terms we are learning from my from our childhood, but we are not trying to. Find out what is the definition, how I will define it, like scale. What is scale? Scale is a group of eight note, which arranged, arranged by following a fixed formula. Fixed formula, that formula you cannot change. If you want to change the formula, you have to throw, you have to take this piano and throw in Bay of Bengal or the keyboard throw in Bay of Bengal if you want to change that scale formula. So what is the de definition? Scale is a group of eight notes arranged by following a fixed formula. Now scale is two type of scale are there, major and minor. Major scale is not having any subdivision, but the minor scale is having three subdivision. Natural minor, melodic minor, and harmonic minor. Or I will say natural minor, harmonic minor, and melodic minor. In next uh, episode, I will come back to you about Natural minor, melodic minor, harmonic minor, how you have to create and how you have to play. Today, just only one skill I will just explain you. That is, very easily we are learning and playing through violin. That's the D major skill. Now, D major skill immediately, if I say you D major skill, you should not think that this is the number one scale number one major scale in major scale table. No, the number one in major scale table is C major, which is not having any sharp, any flat. It's all a natural. Then number two, number two, we have to count five finger from our first one. So first one I got C, so C, D, E, F, G. So number two, major scale number two is G major. And G major is having one sharp. Which note you have each sharp? How will find out? Just before the G. If we are counting A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So before G, F is coming. So F will be sharp. Fine. Now, we got number two, which is G major scale. And then number three, we'll start again from G. G, A, B, C, D. So we got our third major scale. In the major scale table, table we got third major scale, which is D major. Now D major is having two sharp. 
D major already is having eight note. Among this eight note, which all the note will be sharp? I got two sharp. I told two sharp. Now which all the note? First, already previous scale we got F sharp, and now just before D, just before D C. So D major scale is having two sharp, F sharp and C sharp. Now this D major scale, how we will play? In our violin, through our violin, I will just try to guide you because this is the first major scale we are supposed to learn through our violin. This is the violin, first string, second string, third string, fourth string. The third string is a D. This D, this D will, will give one thumb gap, will give one thumb gap approximately from the nut like this and we will block the D string by our first finger. It is E. So we got D and E. Now from the first finger again we will give one thumb gap and we will block the same string by our second finger or the middle finger. Now we got D, E and F. Keep it in your mind, this is F sharp. I told you just now that D major scale is having two sharp. This is F sharp. Now, there should not be any gap in between second and third finger. Second and third finger, there should not be any gap. The third finger is coming on the D string. It will produce G. It will produce the sound G. Now, we will say, already we are having the open string G. Open string G, already we are having open string G. And then what is this G? This G is octave high G. This G is octave high G. What is, now immediately you will come to know that octave, what is that octave? What is octave? Octave, okay. It's a new word again is coming, I am using for you. I am trying to explain you. O C T A V E octave. This octave, the first three O C T is an abbreviation. It's an abbreviation. This abbreviation is stand for eight. E I G H T eight. Octopus eight leg. Octagonic. 8 corner like this. This is octave. 8 notes. This is higher octave than this G. This is low, lower octave. Open string G is lower octave and this is higher octave. This is lower octave. This is higher octave. So we got that G. D E F sharp G. Then open string A. Then first finger B. Second finger C sharp. Third finger D. So whatever the fingering structure you was using for the D, the same fingering structure you are using now on the A string also. So D E F sharp G. A, B, C sharp, D. D, E, F sharp, G. A, B, C sharp, D. So we will play only ascending first. Fine. So it will be D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. D. So now we came 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1 octave. Now we cannot stay in 8th eight, eight floor. 
we are staying always in ground floor so we came eighth floor now we have to come back in our original floor so i am coming eight seven six five four three two one my home fine so i am playing this way D D major scale and you will be surprised to know that if you like to play A major scale you need not to do anything you need not to do anything just change your string just change your string the same to same fingering step chart you are applying from the second string or A so A B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Nothing. Just you change the string and you learn A major scale. So if you learn D major scale, automatically you are learning A major scale also. So I will play now A major scale for you. A, B, C sharp, D. F sharp, G sharp, A, again, D, E, F sharp, G, A, G, C sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, same way you can come down. So now this scale we can practice a different bowing, different way. That's I'll guide you the next class, next episode. This there will be a lot of bowing on this, all this base of in this eight note, like. Whatever you like, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 1 bow, even 1 bow, 8 count also. Thank you.